Hey everyone, James Niggemeyer here. Thank you for tuning back into my YouTube channel. Today I wanna to share my number one most productive and most versatile soft plastic bait that I keep in my boat. I mean, this is a bait that I gotta have quite a bit of. If I showed you the crate that I carry to tournaments of soft plastics, it, it would look pretty obnoxious, but there's so many different shapes, so many different sizes, and then again, I have colors, and so there's just a, a wide variety of baits that you could choose from. And obviously the fish will dictate which ones they want day in, day out, and sometimes within the day. So I like to have a lot of different options. If you guys follow my channel, I love single hook baits, which would mean soft plastics, jigs, bladed jigs, spinner baits, those types of baits. And soft plastics is something that I kind of grew up fishing in Southern California and then moving to Texas, just throw a lot of plastics. I'm a plastics and jig guy. So I do like to power fish, but soft plastics and jigs are something that I really like to do. So today I'm gonna to share with you my number one most productive as far as getting bites and versatile as far as ways that I can fish it throughout the year. So, but before I do that, I wanna thank you guys for all the encouragement, the well wishes, the thumbs up, the hey, congratulations on making 3,000 subscribers. It means a lot to me. Uh, you know, I'm somewhat new to the uh, YouTube community and it's been great kind of getting to know you guys and it's great to see uh, a lot of you guys are tuning in and commenting and sharing ideas for future videos. That helps because a lot of times I, I think I know what would be great to share, but it's great to hear from you all what you guys would like to hear, what's most valuable to you. So I'm gonna try to incorporate some of those suggestions as we move down the road, but today, again, let's get right into my number one most productive and versatile soft plastic bait that I carry in my boat. This is a, this is a bait that I've, I, I just have to have, and I have to have a fair amount of them on hand, and that is a Strike King Rage Bug. It was originally called the Structure Bug. If you kind of, if you look at the package, it says uh, Strike King, it's a Rage Tail Structure Bug but everyone just calls it the Rage Bug. And uh, this is a tremendous bait. I've got so many different colors of this. There's a handful of colors that I really lean on. This is kind of a, this was actually a new one reduced, uh, introduced last year, 2020. This one's black and blue swirl. But this is the bait. I mean, I don't really wanna focus on the color. This is the bait, this is the Rage Bug. If you're unfamiliar with the Rage Bug, uh, this is a tremendous, bait for getting bites. And I really don't care where you are in the country. If the fish you have in your lake are smaller, they'll bite it. If they're bigger, they'll bite it. And if they want a bigger profile, they've also got a, a larger size. And that is the Magnum. This is the Magnum Rage Bug or Magnum Structure Bug. And uh, everyone just calls it the Rage Bug though. But that's the big one. I mean, that's, that's her. I, I should probably for size comparison, if you're a guy who's not interested in getting a lot of bites, but you want big ones, there's the Magnum structure bug, or rage bug, I should just call it. It's a rage bug. And um, you know, if you put them together, you can see the size difference. So this one, this one's considerably, I mean, it's got a lot of meat to it. It's a, it's a heavier, a heavier bait. So um, definitely is a step up in size. So I did not, you know, script this out as far as like what I'm gonna show you. Behind me are rods that I just used throughout the year and I'm gonna show you, this is how much I throw this bait. I'm gonna show you just random rods that I have. I didn't rig up any of these for the video or anything. So number one, my skipping setup. My striking uh, tour grade skipping jig. This is the Andy Montgomery skipping jig. This one's pretty well beat up, but notice the trailer, rage bug. And you saw that video, I guess if you, if you haven't seen that video, you may wanna go check that out. That's my skipping jigs video. Really cool video that uh, I was able to produce on a local lake around here. That was pretty cool. Um, here we go. And I've got on a uh, pitching stick, a magnum, magnum pitching stick, I've got a rage bug in California craw right there. And I think that's a, I'm gonna say that's probably a half ounce uh, striking tour grade tungsten weight and an owner uh, jungle flipping hook. But just for flipping, I'm, I'll use the Rage Bug for flipping. Okay, so we've got skipping jigs. It's a great trailer. It's a great trailer on any jig, but skipping jigs, 
great trailer. Just straight flipping, it's already rigged up. I mean, seriously, guys, I, I, I didn't I didn't rig up these for for any demonstration purposes. I just uh, I had these on. And I've got, this one's kind of a pearl white with clear silver flake, kind of a shad pattern. This was probably, this one's actually kind of embarrassed to say this, but this one's probably left over from the fall when there was a lot of shad in the creek and I was pitching it around. So that white one. So um, one of the things that I've done with this is I've just, I've just swam it. Just throw it out there, cast it, and just slowly reel it through lily pads and around weeds and different things like that. It's just got that little swimming action. Catches fish. So Texas rig like flipping, casting, pitching. So it's a great punch bait. I mean, when I like to flip and pitch with a, with a heavy weight, like an ounce, ounce and a quarter, ounce and a half, two ounce, just a big old tungsten weight, I can do that with it. Another way that I've caught fish on it, on a swing head. You might know it as a wobble head, but this is the Strike King structure head, a swing head like this. And um, this guy works great. That rage bug works great on the back there. So uh, you can fish it on a Carolina rig. I mean, there's just so many different things. You could you put it on a swim jig, on the back of a swim jig. You could even put it uh, on the back of a buzz bait if you wanted to. I'll be honest with you, I've never fished it like that, but you could. I mean, the appendages on this thing, they just catch so much water, the rage tail action, and um, you know, you could just do so much with it. I feel like day in, day out with this guy, I can get bit. It's a bite getter, especially, especially when I'm pre-fishing, if I'm in a lake and I don't know, it's the first day of practice, don't know how they're gonna bite, don't know what they're gonna react to too much. This is a great soft plastic bait to kind of pitch around, work around, jig around, swim around, just do so many different things and, and, and applicable for so many different types of uh, baits, whether it's a, a jig or a Carolina rig or whatnot. So, that is my most productive bait and my most versatile bait. But my, my top colors would be like a black and blue, green pumpkin or a blue craw or a bama bug. Um, those are colors that I throw a lot. California craw is another one that I'll throw. Um, and then watermelon red. Those are just, I try to keep it simple, but I do have quite a few different colors that I like in that bait. So that's it guys, that's a really quick video. My number one most productive and versatile bait that I've got to have in my boat. It's, it's just a bait that works everywhere I go and you could modify it. A lot of times if I'm just uh, gonna put it on the back of a jig, I'll pull these two appendages off and you've got to unlock the action on these. And uh, that, then that just, cause they're kind of, they're tethered together to the body so that when they're in the clam pack um, like this, they, uh, they come out nice and straight every time. So they tether them together to keep them straight in the pack and in your boat or in your storage box. And then when you get ready to fish them, you gotta pull those appendages apart. But sometimes I'll take these side appendages off if I'm gonna put it on a jig and I don't want a lot of bulky action then or a lot of appendages moving. And then I just have the back end of that. But you can cut this guy down. You can cut this guy down and make a chunk and just thread it on like the back, like a, like a jig chunk, let's say, just like that. And you just thread this on the back and it just swims through the water really nicely. Again, the sky's the limit on the things that you want to do with it with your imagination. It's just a really productive bait. It's my favorite bait. As far as if I had to have one bait in my boat, that's probably going to be it. I appreciate you guys tuning into my YouTube channel. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and obviously share it with your friends. Definitely drop a comment. And of course, until next time, thanks for watching and good fishing.